hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it feels so good to be back on youtube i feel like i took the longest break today we are back with some pride inspired nails we're doing rainbows we're doing tie-dye i'm super excited for this set i absolutely love how it turned out so we're gonna go ahead and shape these tips and just get straight into the video so i went ahead and put on some full cover tips you know the drill i want to say i put these on with just some base coat and that is my favorite method of putting on the full cover tips i know they have the solid glue i know they have like a builder gel but honestly regular nail base coat gel base coat is my favorite way to put on full cover tips so once I went ahead and cleaned up the shape and prepped them, I am going ahead with the same base coat that I used before, and I am just going to put on a thin layer. This way, whatever gel I put on top of these nails, it goes ahead and helps adhere it to my nails even better. That way I don't get any lifting or peeling or just anything, to be honest with you. This step is crucial and I do highly recommend it if you do want your designs to last. Hey guys, I'm super excited to be back on YouTube. Being sick with the Ovids has <laughs> was a lot for me. I had so much happen um, with like everything. So I'm just happy to be back here on YouTube filming a new video. Today we are working with Nail Reserve products. I'm super excited because I absolutely love their gel polishes. They are my favorite. So once we got our base coat on, I'm taking this builder gel in a bottle. This is like a orangey peachy tone. Um, I will leave this thing. <laughs> I will leave this linked down below. I do get this on Amazon. It is one of my favorite kind of blind buy purchases. I had never seen anyone use this brand um, on YouTube, but honestly, they make really good builder gels in a bottle, as well as just different colored nail polishes. Highly recommend if you're in the market for different nudes. They do have a couple options to choose from and this one is oh so pretty on my skin tone. So when I put on this butter gel in a bottle, you have a couple options. You can definitely build up the nails, you know, within, you know, different layers or you can just do paint on a couple layers until you reach your desired thickness. For this, we're not going for too thick. We are going for about three to four coats, I want to say. That way, it's thick enough for the nails to be strong. Of course, you could put this underneath the nail as like your, you know, adhesion for your tip to your nail. You can definitely do that, but I prefer to just do this on top of the nail because it does give it almost like an acrylic builder gel vibe. Now the formula of this builder gel in a bottle is very thin. It does kind of, you know, move around a lot. So I recommend working in smaller layers. That way you have less cleanup and you have a little bit more control on how much gel is on your nails at one time. And once we feel like we got a nice full coverage amount of that builder gel, I am going to flip my finger upside down and this way it's going to help me create a nice strong apex. It's going to level out the gel and it's just going to look really good. So once the nails have been cured in the lamp, this is about three to four layers. The nails are looking nice and thick but not bulky and ready to be filed. So after filing, the nails turned out so good. I love the shape. I love the color. I love the length. These are just so pretty. And we are going to go ahead and paint on a layer of matte top coat, and this is also from Nail Reserve. So after we went ahead and prepped our nails, they are ready for the design. So like I mentioned in the beginning, we are going for a rainbow pride tie-dye nail so i'm taking the different beautiful colors from nail reserve and y'all their colors are beautiful 
They have so many different colors. Literally, it was so easy finding a rainbow in my collection. And I am just obsessed. As you'll see, there are a few shades that still say Nail Addict LA. They are transitioning over and they have switched over to Nail Reserve. And I absolutely love how these nail polishes look. They are one of my favorite formulas. Probably it, they're tied with Madame Glam before like first and second place, in my opinion, when it comes to gel polish. They have so many colors. They're so affordable. There's always a sale. Definitely check below because I will leave my coupon code below and that will also save you money. So be sure to check them out. And I was super excited to do these nails because when I do rainbow, I usually tend to lean towards pastel rainbow colors. So doing bright rainbow mixed with neons, I really love how this looked. And this design is beyond easy. So just for a couple accents, I am going to take some of that white polish and I think I also take some black polish as well. So today I'm working with this Beatles striper brush. I will leave that linked down below. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and start making a diagonal rainbow. So I'm going in with this bright red shade. And I'm kind of just starting off in the corners and <laughs> keep saying and. And the, between the colors, I do go ahead and wipe my brush off. That way there's no mess. For this first nail, I did forget to put the pink on there. I don't think it's noticeable, but I did want to mention it because I clearly don't show me putting pink on this part in the video. But rainbows are very subjective, I want to say. Definitely do whatever colors you like to do. Definitely switch it up and just make it fun. These don't have to be pride nails, but I like them for pride nails. But yeah, play around with the colors and choose whatever rainbow or whatever color, you know, mix works best for you. I did really enjoy this Beatles liner brush. I felt like it got my lines super straight and very clean. And it was very easy to wipe the brush off in between the colors without there being any kind of like transferring or streakiness. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but you can see how consistent these colors are. All of these shades have such a buttery, creamy formula that makes it super easy for other colors to blend with them, as well as for them to be next to other colors and keep their integrity. So once our rainbow was on, I wiped the blush I wiped the brush completely clean and I go in and start from the red and I just swipe down making tie-dye patterns. This design is so incredibly easy to do. It's really quick and doesn't take much like practice. So I highly recommend trying this out. I love tie-dye designs. Definitely one of my favorite summer sets. Uh, 
Okay, so once we have that done, we are going to just go ahead and cure this in the lamp for about 60 seconds. We are going to make sure the gel is not too thick and it will cure evenly. So once the nails have been cured, I love how this looks. It looks so good. I am just doing the same exact thing. And for this, I wanted to mention you don't have to worry about your lines being overly straight. If you're a perfectionist, I know you're going to want to do it and that is completely fine but the cool thing about this design is it's not meant to be perfect just like tie-dye it is not perfect so that is why we're not curing you know any you know in between any layers we're not you know pretty much measuring out the sizes of the stripes just because we do want this to feel like an organic tie-dye feel I am absolutely loving this Beatles brush. I am so glad that it was in this set. I think it was like a set of like six. I will have this linked down below. This brush worked so good and literally I only used this brush for this whole tutorial. Let me know down below if y'all have any plans for Pride. I definitely want to know what y'all are doing because Pride Month is one of my favorite months. I am, <laughs> I am always going to them each year. I love Pride festivals. Just cool to see the drag queens. Cool to see everyone just living their lives, living their truths, being happy. And I am such a fan. So I'm excited to go to my city's Pride. It's actually next weekend so i'm going with my friends and i cannot be more excited um i don't actually like get super dressed up or go all out i kind of just wear regular clothes but i do love seeing the pride fashion i think it's so cool and i love that everyone is just carefree and happy and it's honestly such a cool sight to see So once we clean up around our design and do our finishing touches, we cure this again, but only for 30 seconds. So next we are doing pretty much the same style of design. This time we're doing like a center, almost diagonal, I would say, kind of line. I am adding the pink and what I love about this whole design is that these colors go so well together. I was so surprised that there was no bleeding with any of the colors, that there was no like weird, you know, tones between the two colors or between all the colors. I am very much a fan of Nail Reserve. They have been some of my favorite gels. They smell good. They work well. I never have any issues with bubbling when they cure. It's just such a beautiful formula of gel polish. I will say that it's between them and Madame Glam. They're like tied in my book. I love both brands and I think both brands are highly worth it. And the amount of sales that, you know, Nail Reserve does and Madame, Glass, Madame Glam do are actually really, really cool. Like they have so many different collections and... Yeah, to me, the quality is definitely top tier. I do want to know if y'all would want to see a video of me swatching all of my gel polishes. It's something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. Of course, it's easy to just swatch them all when you get them, but realistically, that is not how my life goes. So I have so many gels I haven't gotten to swatch yet, and I would love to kind of just doing do a swatch video maybe even one that's asmr style just in case you want to watch it while you're getting ready for bed i think that would be super dope let me know if you'd watch it or if you'd be bored or just give me any other ideas i would totally love to film for you guys now that i'm feeling a lot better Okay, so once our rainbow is done, I don't know what happened to the footage, you guys, but I just did the same kind of 
tie-dye design and now I'm cleaning it up and I will cure this nail in my nail lamp for about 60 seconds and it gets the job done. Okay, so next up we are going to do my favorite nail. This is like a design that kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, I have seen plenty of people do this in other nail designs, so this is not like my thing. But at first I was kind of just going for like a swirled style look. Y'all know the trend of early this year, last year with the abstract nails. Um, they're still pretty popular in my opinion. I think now they're definitely leaning more towards like a retro vibe, which I am here for. <laughs> so that is kind of what I thought I was doing at first, but then it kind of became just this really pretty rainbow shape and I could not be happier. So as you'll see, I made that abstract swirl and then every color after that first initial swirl I'm going to kind of follow along and I also thought this was extremely easy as you can see by the way I'm holding my brush I'm kind of holding it in the likes of like a pen or a pencil and that just gave me so much control over the brush and made it really easy to do without making any mistakes. Alright guys, so once that's done, look at how beautiful that is. This nail was so satisfying. So I'm going to take my white polish and I am just going to work on doing some clouds. Now, this is super easy to do with this dotting tool that came in this Beatles brush set. I love the look of these little clouds. I wasn't going for overly realistic since this was kind of giving me like a cartoon vibe. And as you'll see, I'm kind of just doing a bunch of little tiny dots, but trying to form them all into a cloud shape. And the way that I got my clouds to look 3D, you won't be able to see it from here, but they do end up looking 3D, is I do one initial layer like this, and then I just go directly over it, and I don't cover up the clouds I already do. I kind of just add like a slightly smaller cloud of the same shape. In, and it gave it so much dimension and definition and makes it look like you did more than you actually did. And you guys, for Pride next week, I'm definitely going to be going all out with my nails. I can't wait. I haven't had nails on for the past week and I am itching to do my nails. So for this design, uh, for this nail, I'm just going to add in a little bit of twinkles, a little bit of stars, and this honestly just made it for me. It made it all come together, and I was obsessed with this nail, but also the set. It's so pretty, and y'all, I got so many compliments on these nails, and I just, I was so sad to take them off. They're so gorgeous. So I am applying top coat. I did go ahead and try this out with the matte top coat, but I found that the shiny no wipe top coat 
just made it look so vibrant. It made all the colors stand out and just look happy and I absolutely loved these nails. I highly recommend if you are having a bad day or you know need to pick me up, do some bright rainbow nails. These do not disappoint and will put you in a good mood for days. We're going to go ahead and cure these for 60 seconds and then apply our cuticle oil. And y'all, this is the final look. I hope you guys like these nails as much as I do. I would love to see you guys recreate these. I think that would be so cool. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.